Hey guys, what's up? It's the Mike LM here, 97 here to give you a video. Now I'm gonna be. I have a, a review, uh, not a review copy, but a co uh, game. I bought uh, Bloodborne yesterday. I'm gonna be reviewing this game, so that you guys know. I'm gonna be showing you some PS4 footage of the game while I'm um, be talking about something today. So today, I'm gonna be talking about um, Amazon France. Uh, what's so important about Amazon France and about Bloodborne? Why are you still connected? Well, because. Amazon friends decided to list Bloodborne for the PC and remember Bloodborne for This game right here is a PS4 exclusive So right now it says it's coming to PC at some stage if a retail listing is to be believed though This is from France, you know, and but the thing is about this source though is that Their reveals have been kind of been true to be honest. They've been actually accurate with a lot of their reveals for example um, some of their reviews today, as of right now, it lists of scouts include games like Call of Duty Black Ops 2, um, the Killzone tr Trilogy, which I still haven't bought, just too shame, the Assassin's Creed Anthology, which is only European edition, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC race, and a PS4 bundle of The Last of Us Remastered. All of these were actually accurate by, um, as of now. The thing is, though, I don't know why is this happening, though. Why is this game, a PS4 exclusive, being brought to the PC? It shouldn't be brought to the PC, it's a PS4 exclusive. It's the exact same thing for Xbox One exclusives. I mean, it's an Xbox One exclusive for a reason, like Rise Out of Rome and Dead Rising 3 were brought to the PC. How do you lose that? How, how did Microsoft lose that? And I just hope that Sony does not fall for the same mistake, because Nintendo, they know how to do their exclusives, they keep their exclusives no matter what. And I just feel like... I don't know what to really say, but Torch of Bloodborne, I, I'm really enjoying it, I'm loving my time with it. it. It's just that it's surprising that this is happening with exclusives, little by little. Certain exclusives are getting the PC treatment, and next thing you know, um, next thing you know, it might just come out later for other consoles right now. Um, however, though, this is a rumor, this is not true as of right now. The only way we know if it's true is when, uh, when um, the developers from software will announce that it's coming for PC worldwide. And in case you guys do not know, uh, developers behind it was from software who did the Dark Souls and Demon Souls series, and also Sony J uh, Japan Studio, and that's a co collaboration between from software and from Japan Studio. So as of now, we do not know if Bloodborne is going to be on PC. However, playing Bloodborne on PS4 is a great option, though. So if you're playing Bloodborne on PS4 and if you have a PC and you're complaining about it, don't bitch and moan. I mean, you, if you if you're gonna get this game, you knew you'd be getting a PS4 exclusive overall. And I I think that this game should stay on the PS4 ex as an exclusive. It shouldn't be brought over to the PC. It shouldn't fall the same mistakes that Microsoft did. And I understand why develop companies need exclusives because without exclusives. Their consoles will not sell. And a lot of people say that you need an exclusive to buy a console. You do not need an exclusive to buy a console. It's a preferable version of choice. That's all it is. It's all an option. I talked to some people, to, uh, not to like, uh, the company or anything, but I talked to a few people that I know, like friends and all. And they, uh, and no, they think that you need exclusive. I don't think so. You don't need an exclusive to have, to have a, like, a console. Like, if. No, I don't know, it's that I think that exclusives overall is a good choice, even though it might piss some people off. Like, for example, Rise of the Tomb Raider as an Xbox One time exclusive is a good choice because it, it, it shows that Microsoft has some chance. Even though at first when they announced it, I was upset, I got over it overall because I know it's going to become the PS4 and I don't have Xbox One, but who knows, I might get Xbox One sooner. Off topic, overall, um,. That's it for this video, guys. So please like this video, comment below, subscribe, and I'll be doing a Bloodborne review very, very, very soon. I'm not going to be done with this game for a very long time. I've ne I had never uh, truly completed a game 100% exactly like this before, and let's just say that I might it may take me a long, long time just to beat this game because it's a challenging game as hell. I will say that. So please like this video, comment below, subscribe. Also follow me on Facebook as Michael Martinez. Follow me on Twitter as the Michael in And that's all the information you need to know, guys. Uh, if you to see more reviews on my YouTube channel, check out the Michael in on YouTube. Um, if you want to see posts that I do online, just check out my uh, my Facebook and Twitter. Okay, bye bye, guys. This is the Michael in signing off.